hi hi my beautiful people welcome back to my channel it is a lovely evening and i thank god so much for giving me an opportunity to see you today and have a talk with you how have you been and it is a friday and in our country or all over the world it is a holiday yeah for our brothers and sisters the muslims the eid they are breaking their fasting today and it is a lovely day we thank god so much because our god is faithful and um today i want to tell you something some story about how i went to buy something for myself something that i've been really waiting for something that i've been really longing to buy but unfortunately When I got into the shop, oh my God, I got disappointed that I could not find the one that is fitting me. I wanted some shoes. I wanted to buy some um, sport shoes for me so that I can walk comfortably. You see, I can walk comfortably, do my exercise well. But unfortunately, I didn't get the one that is fitting me. So I got disappointed so, so much, but it's not the end of the, the, the deal. I'll still go for it. Yeah, I'll arrange myself well and look for what exactly that I want. I know how it feels, the way one feels when actually you wanted to buy something and very ready that you want to own something, you see? <laughs> for example, you want to own a house, you want to own a car, and uh, you're, you're very ready. But, unfortunately, some things come up and it has not worked on the way you wanted. What do you normally do when such things happen to you? Do you get so much annoyed or you go and uh, look for another alternative? Do something else, go take yourself out and uh, at least uh, enjoy yourself by eating your favorite meal or your favorite drinks so that uh, you feel good. Come on, what do you do? What do you mainly do when you get disappointed? You really wanted something so, so much and uh, it has reached a time where you are ready to go for it. Then it's not there and so you need to wait for the next time are we always ready to wait for the next time or when we get disappointed we become angry and we say so to hell i will not buy this thing again uh, I, I don't want it anymore you see you just wait for the the, the best time for it to come so that uh, you own what you want. In life, we, we want so many things. We have plans. We need so many things. Hey, for example, sometimes you are married, you want to get a baby, and uh, when you try, it's not working. Or by the time you want it, it's not coming up. So you run up and down in deep thinking that, oh, is it that you're not going to get the, that child or whatever? But maybe it's not the right time for you at that particular time. And maybe there will be the right time for you that you'll get your baby. And uh, things will be okay. Yeah, so it is a lovely day of the holiday that we have and i'm wishing you all the best because it is a weekend again and since that it is a weekend we have a lot of activities to do over the weekends we know all that but uh, you may find yourself doing some things that are not worth it and you feel inside you that you don't care but later on you regret so 
Weekends, we have to be very careful with what we do. We have to choose doing the right things so that we don't regret later on. Don't destroy your life. Don't destroy the people around you. Don't destroy your character. Don't destroy your personality. But remain whom you are. Be yourself always. Even if it is a weekend, be yourself. Know that doing the right thing is the best thing in life. Of which you will count later on that, oh, I did this thing. And this thing is, is now helping me out. At this particular time, I did it at the right time because I took care of myself at that particular time and that's why I'm here today in this position just because I took care, care of myself. So, we normally drink beer, we drink alcohol. Over the weekends, most of us hang out with others so that they can have a break because they've been busy. So you find yourself over drinking to the extent that you do not know yourself. So take care. Even if you go out, just take care of yourself. <laughs> yeah, just try to take care of yourself. Hmm. Lovely weekend. We still have tomorrow. It is a holiday today. Tomorrow you'll, you'll, you still have much time to hang around to do the best things that you want to do. And on Sunday, most of us goes to the church. And the weekend shall be over again as we wait to start off our new week. Very ready to do our works as usual. Because if you don't work, if you don't do any work, you will find yourself... Eh? Any work is a work that you are doing. Don't get discouraged. My friend, I'm wishing you all the best. And I say bye-bye. Have a blessed weekend. God takes care of you. As you subscribe to my channel. And as you give this video a like. And comment down below. I love you all. Bye-bye.